Two people survived a plane crash tonight in North Idaho. They were practicing touch and goes at Pappy Boynton Field when the plane crashed into a truck just off the runway. KXLY 4's Eric Loney live near the airport tonight where that crash happened. Yeah, Robin, we're outside the fence of the maintenance yard behind Kootenai Electric's building on Dakota, just about a thousand feet off the airport. And that white pickup truck down there is what actually brought this airplane to a stop. Firefighters tell us that a flight instructor and his student, both pilots, were practicing touch and goes when the twin engine Beechcraft Baron flew a couple hundred feet off the end of the runway over a chain link fence here at Kootenai Electric, over a stack of wooden power poles, and then touched down with one wing clipping a small tractor, the other a small shed, and then the plane slammed into that pickup truck. Both men in the plane walked away from the crash. Right now, we couldn't find out who was actually flying it at the time of the wreck. The instructor suffered a gash on his leg. The owner of the plane, Hamid Wasti of Coeur d'Alene, was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Hospital officials tell us that it is in good, he is in good condition. Uh, hospital officials tell us that he is in good condition, but still being evaluated in the ER right now, and the FEA is now investigating this crash. From what I understand, there was a possibility of, a, of either electrical problems or electrical failure that caused the plane to come back down. Okay, the FAA is investigating this crash. We're told it will be about a month before the NTSB will come back with what exactly happened, and then they'll tell us what if it was, in fact, some sort of power failure. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4.